so basically we have articles in french so what are the articles you know in english we have the and english we have a and yes sir clear so basically the we call it as definite articles okay and a and we call it as indefinite articles is it clear to you yes sir one thing you have to understand one thing yeah one thing you have to understand see you know in english we have the like if mm. i would say the boy the girl clear mm. but but see it is very important to understand the boy the girl clear mm. but in french it is not like that because my french my french typically based upon my masculine and feminine if there will be a male girl is it clear to you mm. that male and girl boy girls we have a different type of things is it clear to you yes now let me explain to you repeat after me la 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 le la repeat after me la la le exact one now for example we have la so la is based upon my the we have la la is based upon the we have le and le is also based upon the it means la la stand for male clear mm. okay and la stand for female clear and le stand for plural so basically it is not in english now for example i will say the boys the girls my the yeah. is same but in french we have le la le yeah. le is based upon the which is a male la is based upon female and le is based upon plural say clair mademoiselle clair is it clear to you yes clair now for example we have the boy we have the girl clear we have the boys lot of boys say clair Yes. basically mademoiselle boy we call as garso is it clear to you mm. yes sir so literally meaning of boy is to garso and the girl is fee 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 repeat after me fee fee is it fee. clear to you yes sir clear right mm. now over here we have the boy and the we use for le so i can say le garçon say clair and see we have now we have two type of c one is simple c and one we have say dai dai say dai repeat after me say dai say say dai say dai say dai we call it as what to say say dai say dai if you have symbol of c like that This C we call as say dai, say clear. Okay, clear. Clear. Now, for yeah. example, if I will say the girl, I can say la fi. Is it clear to you? Yes. Clear. If I will say the boys, so I can say le garçon. Say clear and see we have say dai. Say clear, mademoiselle. Clear. Clear. Now, for example, yes. I will say the house. House. We have female. You know, in English and Hindi also, my house is very good. Or either I can say in Hindi, my house is very good. Tell me. Hmm. 
so i can say mera house mera house why mera house now, for example you have to teach me hindi and i don't know hindi mm. right mm. and you will say it should be mera house i will say why mera house is it clear to you hmm when you say there's a sense of the language so the same thing house is my female and gradually you will come to know say clear mm. la clear. maison la la maison maison is it clear to you mademoiselle yes clear now we have if we'll say the houses so we have le maison say clear if i will say the door door we call as porte repeat after me porte 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 i can say la porte because door we have female is it clear to you yes. la porte say clear d'accord clear clear d'accord yes. now for example we have the window say clear so clair. the window we have fenêtre repeat after me fenêtre la fenêtre say fenêtre Say clear, Mademoiselle. Clear, clear. clear. That good. Okay. Mm. Hi, Herman. How are you? Uh, Herman, I think you're on mute. One second. Okay, great. So, la fenêtre, the window. Say clear. Yeah. That good. So let me dub this. So. we are working for sounds again because in french language the sounds play a vital role you know you use the terms arguments you use the term argument in english arguments you use arguments tell me as a no because today again we'll work for the sounds in french say clair d'accord right so repeat after me we say arguments we can write c in french also we we write like arguments but we have a different sound my en sound is on oh. repeat after me en oh. sound is on in french oh. on oh. and one thing you have to understand ending of any word any word is ending from s t d d that would be silent in french now for example we are ending with t and s now for example in english we have arguments t s arguments clear but over here my team t and s would be silent like how to see one thing i have to explain to you phonetics and sounds play a vital role then only i can speak the language out so this is argument how to say a sound is a a sound is a argument say clear mademoiselle clear argument we have arguments argument say clear 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 so argument repeat after me argument Argument. What say what to arguments? Is it clear to you? Yes. Clear, Mademoiselle. Clear. Now repeat after me. Affaire. Repeat Affair. after me, my Mademoiselle. Affaire. Argument. Affaire. Affaire. Say that it well. Rep. I'm not saying of. You know, in English we have affairs. affairs see we are using english pattern but we have a different sound in french affair we have business is not affairs you know we have uh, external affairs we have uh, fair festivals say clair affair repeat after me affair okay. yes affair we have business is it clear to you Clear. So, team, 
Repeat after me. We have enterprises in English. Enterprises. The same we have French also. Entreprise. Why entreprise? Because EN sound is O in French. See, in a starting, typically I'm using the English pattern. The, now, now, there are a lot of meanings like we have enterprises, we have a project, arguments. We can write the same in French, but we have different sounds. So let's play our framework on the praise. On the praise. Why on the praise? Because Ian sound is. E. Mm. Ian sound is. Oh. So repeat after me. Entreprise. Repeat after me. Entreprise. Travai. Repeat after me. Travai. 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 Because A e sound is. Ah. Travai. Travai. One thing you have to understand. Ending of ET. Any word is ending from ET. That would be A sound. Ending of ET would be A sound. Okay. Proje. Repeat after me. Proje. Proje. Repetia Premois. Proje. 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 We have project. Plan. Proje. Essay clair. And one thing again you have to understand. If any word is starting from H. Any word is starting from H. That would be silent. Istwar. Repte apre moa. Istwar. Repeat after me. Istwar. Exactly. Why istwar? Because OI sound is wa. OI sound is wa. So we have istwar. Repeat after me. Istwar. Istwar. Exactly. Affair. Affair. Travail. Projet. Histoire. Say clair. Clair. Now, can you repeat, please? Arcument. Repeat after Arcu me. Arcu Arcument. Entreprise. Entreprise. Tra Affaire. Affaire. Travail. Travail. Projet. Projet. Histoire. 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 C'est-à-dire quoi? C'est votre history. Is it clear to you? Clear, mademoiselle? Clear. Now, repte après moi. What to say important? We call it imposto. Imposto. Say clear. Repte après moi, imposto. Repeat after me. Imposto. Say clear. Now, repeat after me, mademoiselle. Considérable. Repeat after me. Yes. Why? Because we already have done. We have E sound is. Now, for example, we have an accent like that upon E. That E will convert it into A. Considerable. See? Let me explain to you again. We have four type of E in French. Say Claire, mademoiselle. Claire. Claire. My first E sound is A. Uh, when there is no accent, when there is no accent on the top, that E sound is a. Uh. Uh. Now, for example, we have E. We are if we are going from bottom to top, and we are going towards right hand side, that sound is A in French. If we have an accent like that, that is E sound converted into A. If we have bottom to top. It is going towards left hand side. That sound is a. Uh, is it clear to you? And again, if we have a hut like that, that is a. Uh, so a, uh, a, a, uh, a. Uh. Is it clear to you, Mademoiselle? Clear. Clear. Okay. May I up this? Say clear. Now we'll work for this, these, those very important mademoiselle. 
very important pattern. So repeat after me. Sir, Seth, um, say. Can you hear me? Yes, Herman. Hi, how are you, Herman? Uh, I'm good. I, I was actually in the library and I'm, I'm, I'm on the phone now. That's fine. So I, I could understood. Yeah. That, that's fine. Right. So so you understood the concept entirely, which we did? Uh, yep. Uh, actually, I had a, a French class in my university too. So I know like this stuff already. That's fine. That's great. Because yeah. we are working with a pattern where because I was not aware of your French language, like what your level would no, no, be. No, no. So I we didn't have like one language, like first class it was today. Okay. Yeah. Like very first class, just like this. Yeah, no problem. Sure. Yeah, right. Okay, so we are working with a pattern of these. You know, in English we have this. In English we have these, right? So what is this basically in French? So repeat after me because my this pattern is also based on male, female, and plural. Say clear, d'accord. Now repeat after me, sir. Set, say. Repeat after me. Sir, sir set, say. say. Very say. important. Because you know what? My French language is based upon my masculine, feminine, and plural. Say, Claire. Now, sir. Sir is basically, which is where we use sir, before a masculine singular. Now, for example, if you have a masculine, if you will say this morning, I can say Sir Mata. Because Mata, we have masculine. Now, for example, if you have a masculine, this, which is based upon my Sir. Is it clear to you, Mademoiselle? Herman, is it clear to you? Sir. Sir is based because my, my French is based upon my masculine, Feminine and plural. I can say set now week. You know, week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we call it summon. Week, we call it summon in French. Repeat after me. Summon. Repeat after me. Summon. Summon. So literally, week, we call it feminine. Set summon. I will say this week, I will use set summon. Is it clear to you? Yep. Take care. Now, very important to note that. Pen down, please. It's very important. Now, sir, my this masculine. Sir is my this masculine. Changes to say. C-E-T. Because we have E-T sound is A. E-T sound is A. Rip the upright one. What is the sound of E-T? Mademoiselle Lakhanpal. So we have ET sound is A. A. Say clear. So yeah. sir changes to CET before a masculine singular exact mo, which begin with a vowel or a silent edge. One thing you don't understand. Now, for example, any word, any word is starting from a vowel. Any word is starting from a vowel. Say clear. Yeah. And any word is starting from a vowel. Say clear. And H. H. H basically, you know what? Now, for example, we have a word which is om. Literally, meaning of om is to man. You know, man. But, team, mm -hmm. as I already told you, Starting of any word is starting from H that would be silent. Any word is starting from H that would be silent. So what he's saying is if any word is starting from a vowel or silent H, so my sir would be converted into say. So I can say setom. 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 Why setom? One thing again you have to understand. So that's how we are working with a pattern, right? Any word is ending from a consonant. Any word, Herman, oh, sorry. Uh, yes, Herman, is it clear to you, Mr. Hundul? Um, just I didn't get the set, uh, say part. Set. 
Yep. One thing you have to understand. Any word is starting from a vowel, like A, E, I, O, U, say clear, any word. Okay. Or begin with H, because in French, H would be silent. Okay. If any what word, is yes, any what word is, is starting from H. Now, for example, we have a verb, we have a word, H, O, M, M, E, say clear. I cannot say home, no. I will I will keep it silent and I will say om. Say Claire. Claire, Mr. Hundel. Uh, Claire. Say Claire. Now, one thing again you don't understand. Any word is starting from a vowel or a silent H, my sir, which is this. Well, that's a masculine, right? Man is a masculine. Tell me yes and no. Yep. So, one second. So, my sir would be converted into C-E-T. So, basically, my team, you have two type of this, masculine this in French. One, we have sir. And one we have C E T. Say, is it clear to you? So if you're any masculine, any masculine noun which is starting from a vowel, A E I O U, or a silent H, so your sir would be converted into C E T. Is it clear to you? Yes. Mr. Hundal Herman, is it clear to you? Yep. For this reason, I can say setom. Why setom? Because that's how we are working for the sounds. Any verb, any word, any vocab is starting from, is ending from a vowel like S, T. Like that's a consonant. So any word, sorry, any word is is ending from a consonant like C E T. So this is a consonant ending with T consonant. And the next word is starting from a vowel like O because it would be silent. So I will count this word with starting from O. Say clear. So I have to combine the sound. Set tom. Say set tom. Say clear. Set tom. Clear. One thing, again, it's very important. See, you know what? The sounds play a vital role. Like, Herman, you're living in US. And over there, we have accent in English. The same because how you will come up with the sound in French. The accent, accent. Say, Claire, repeat after me, accent. What to say, accent? We call this accent. Why accent? Because EN sound is on. EN sound is O and ending of T and S would be silent. Say clear. Is it clear to you? Axon. Say clear. The rift is after one. Axon. Axon. Now, for example, what to say friend in, in French? Friend. Ami. Ami. Say clear. What to say, friend, in French, army. Say, Claire. That's well, the... Now, for example, I will say this friend. Say, Claire. So, because army is starting from what? Vowel. I cannot say, sir, army. No. I will say, set army. Is it clear to you, Herman? 
say clear because any word is starting from a what i would say uh, a vowel like a r a e i o u now for example we have this male friend ami setom this man setom and this male friend setami say clear tami why tami why tami because t a tami say clear setom setami say clear is it clear to you harman and lakhanpan clear clear so setom setami say clear dakur clear okay now we have a lot of things now we are working for the plural we are working for the masculine say clear now one thing again so because obviously because these things will play a vital role so re pya pre moi s'il vous plaît what to say car in french voiture repeat after me voiture voiture repeat after me voiture say clear so if i will say these cars lot of cars we have see because we have this pattern is based on sir set and say say clear sir clear set and say i can say say what you say what you say clear now see you know what army we have a single friend now in english we have car cars boy boys friend friends if i will say friends i can say a m i s army but i cannot say armies because s would be silent in french so see over here masculine plural masculine is male plural ami single friend ami lot of friends we have amis ami so these friends i can say say zami why say zami because ending of s and combining with a next vowel a say zami say clear is it clear to you say zami is it clear to you say zami harman is it clear to you clear lakhanpan can you hear me lakhanpan madam mademoiselle say clear now i can say these men lot of men om we have done right om we have man om if we a lot of men i can say h o m m e s i can say say zom why because we have these pattern these pattern we call as say repte aap rahe ho mademoiselle lakhanpal say say zom we have a lot of oranges i can say say zorange say zorange why say zorange because any word is ending from s and the next word is starting from a vowel o so we have to combine the sound say zorange i can do say orange wrong wrong pronunciation say zorange so repte aap rahe ho say what you repte aap rahe ho repeat after me say what you say what you say zami say zami say zom say zom because om h silent say zorange say clair mademoiselle clair is it clear to you so what you understand mademoiselle you understood the concept of 
masculine, feminine, and plural with this. Say Claire. Yes. Say Claire. So, rep the after one. Sir, set, see. Sir, set, see. Yes. Sir, we use for masculine this. Set, we use for feminine this. And say, we use for plural. Is it clear to you? Clear, Mademoiselle. Say clear. Yes, say clear. Yes. Now, very important. Now, for example, I'm using a terms. We are using a lot of terms, basically. Now, we use a term basically, very important, because we are working for again the vocab also. Say clear. D'accord. Now, repte after moi, fondamentalement. Repeat after me. Very important. Fondamentalement. Repte after moi. Repeat. Fondamentalement. Yes. You know, we have, repeat after me. Fondamentalement. Repeat after me. Why? Because how to read this? Fonda. En sound is on. What is en sound? Which is O, o. A sound is A and EN sound is yeah. again O and T would be silent. So, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Fondamental. Say clear. Essential. Essential. Essentially, very important, mademoiselle. That how we are working for the sound and the pattern because the moment you want to speak French. Now, for example, vous voulez parler très 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 bien langue française. Vous devez ajouter les mots numériques. Vous devez ajouter les mots exactement. Vous devez ajouter les nouvelles vocabulaires. Now, if you really want to speak French, these are the very important pattern, mademoiselle. So, les pattern fondamentalement, fonda. Fondamentalement, Repeat after me, Lakanpal. Essentiellement. Repte après moi. Essentiellement. En vérité. Repte après moi. En vérité. In reality. We say in English, in reality. So I can say en vérité. Say clair. Is it clear to you? In reality. Vérité. So, repte après moi, vérité. Repeat after me, vérité. So, repte après moi, fondamentalement. C'est clair. D'accord. En vérité. Truth. In reality. Is it clear to you? C'est clair. Reality. On, in, we say, in reality. Réalité. Vérité. Réalité. Reality, say that it was say what reality because dramatically we, we are working for the vocabularies which play a vital role in your TEF pattern. Say clear, say clear. So, repeat after me, fondamental, repeat after me, fondamental, is on CN because the moment you will use these, these patterns, like we have done. Necessaire, important. Because in TEF, dramatically we use these, term, these terms. Fondamentalement, essentiellement, en vérité, en réalité. So, répète après moi. Fondamentalement, essentiellement. En vérité, actualité. Répétez après moi, actualité. Actualité. Repeat after me, mademoiselle, actualité. Actualité. So, actualité, c'est-à-dire quoi? If we have a symbol, actually, reality, actualité, c'est clair. Clair. C'est clair. So that's how we're working for the pattern. So repeat after me, fondamentalement. Repeat after me. 
Repeat after me, mademoiselle, fondamentalement, en vérité, c'est clair. D'accord? C'est clair. Now repeat after me, vocab is propagé. Repeat after moi, propagé. Monsieur Herman, you understood the concept? Propagé, because dramatically we are entering for a pattern. I understand there's a new language for you, but we are working for the vocab because these vocab are used in TEF. So dramatically, we have done A1 pattern, which is so set say. Now dramatically, we are entering with the B2 pattern of the vocabularies. So propage. So repte après moi, propage. Propage. Propage is to spread. Spread. You know, propage. So repeat after me, propage. Repeat after me. Propage. I can use the vocab of répondre. Very important. Répondre is my vocab to spread. Propage. Repeat after me. You know, if you will say, this problem is spreading. It spread a lot of things. Say clair. So spread. Because, see, List, just consider yourself. You want to say it spread a lot of things. Spread. So what does it spread in French? Propage, répondre. Répète après moi, s'il vous plaît. Propage. Propage. Répondre. Is it? Répondre. Now repeat after me, cray. We already have done a lot of time. Cray. Cray is my verb to create. Cray. Mademoiselle, these are very important, very important pattern which you're working for. So repte après moi, cray. 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 Repeat after me, établique. Repte après moi, établique. It establish. You, you use in English. Establish. Mm. So what to say in French? Because this is a pattern for B1 and B2. Dramatically. You are a beginner. But dramatically we are using the vocab of these things. That how you can walk in. You can learn the language French. It ablis. Cray. Cre and story. Rep the after and story. Why and story? Because I and sound is uh. See, you know, Lakan Mademoiselle, we used these, this, these A1 pattern. Dramatically, I am entering the pattern of B1 and B2. So that's how we are learning the language through the mixed program A1, A2, B1, B2. Say clear. And story. Mm -hmm. Repte après moi, and story. And story is my vocab to establish. And story. Determine. Determine, we have determine. Constitue. Constitue, we have constitute. Fonde. Fonde is my verb to found. So repeat after me. Etablish. Repeat after me. Cre. Cre. Repte après moi. See, because you know, the moment you will start the language with me, you will speak with me, read aloud with me. Etablish, create, store, determine, constitue, fonde. You know, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Etablish, create, store, create, store, create, store, determine, constitue. Fonde. Fonde. C'est clair. So, repte après moi, établir, créer, instaurer, déterminer, constituer, fonde. C'est clair. Donc, oui. repte après moi, fondamentalement, essentiellement, you say in English, in reality, you say in English, in reality, on vérité. On, Verite. 
Realité, réalité, actualité, propager, établir, répondre, créer, instaurer, déterminer. Because your language, any language is based upon the weightage of your vocabulary. Now, for example, you want to speak very good English. At least you need some vocabulary. Then you can speak out. Say clear. Is it clear to you? So hmm. can you speak up, please? Uh, from the uh, from from the Montalmo. Mm -hmm. From the Montalmo, mm -hmm. essentielmo, mm -hmm. uh, overite, mm -hmm. actualmo. Mm -hmm. uh, Very good. Say clear. Now. We can say bouger. Bouger is my verb to move. You know, moving. Move karna. Constitue. Fonde. Fonde, yes. So bouger is my verb to move. Bouger. So repte after moi, bouger. Repeat after me. Bouger is my verb to move. So meeting would, meeting would be end in the next few seconds. So I will send you the link again. Okay. So bouger is my verb to move. So repeat after me. Déplacer. Déplacer basically we use for movement from one place to another. Déplacer. 